Call is now being recorded. Okay, people. So, uh, the last paper that I owe you guys. So, this is test two, 2020. Now, I'm going to speed run this one because there are a few questions that uh, ask you to skip, not to do because it's not uh, been tested in this mid year and also some of them you haven't learned yet. Therefore, uh, I think I'm going to like one shot do everything MCQ and also the subjective question. All right, let's go. Uh, first one, we have which statement describe the purpose of accounting so accounting is not recording accounting has to do with our financial statement so that's the keyword lah, financial statement right so we have income statement and also statement of financial position so all these are financial statement all right so which statement describe the purpose so is it to check arithmetical of the double entry no no all right to ensure all transfers are recorded nope to provide calculation of profit, yes, because of income statement is part of it. Therefore, answer is C. To know the balance on individual accounts, uh, nope. All right, not that one. All these are bookkeeping. All right, next one we have Trisha. Trisha bought goods from Ihan at a total list price of three eight eight zero. List price is the original price before the discount. So always remember when you see list price, you always minus trade discount. Okay, always minus trade discount. So trade discount is ten percent. Cash discount is 2.5. Now, question asks us which amount to be recorded in a purchaser's journal. So, if you talk about cash discount, then it must be in cash book. Lah. And also must pay early, right? Yeah, doesn't mean if you pay, then you will get it. So, it have to depends. They have to give more information. So, usually, we don't really count this. When you see question like this, lah, uh, when they talk about what journal, journal, and all. So, just take 3880 and uh, times with 90%, then you will get the answer because they ask us what amount to be recorded in there so let's take the calculator 380 and we times with 90 percent all right 3492 3492 is c okay easy peasy uh, this is 3492 okay where is discount received recorded so discount received so let's look at the answer what they do what do they want they want the oh they want the sales the control account Purchase letter control account. So discount receive has to do with who? Is it TR or TP? Discount receive is we pay supplier early. So this has to do with our TP. So TP is uh, purchase ledger or sales ledger. This is PLCA, purchases ledger control account. So you know answer A and B definitely up already, right? So it's only C and donkey. So if you know the double entry for discount receive, then you will know whether they're on the side or CR side. So discount receive is income, always CR. So CR discount receive, and therefore we have to debit TP. Okay, debit TP. So answer is debit side of the purchaser's ledger control account. So easy. All right, destined. Destined statement of financial position includes the following. Uh, they have amount received by destined for a service has not yet been provided, amount paid by destined, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's look at what they want first. So which items? are included in the other payable yep so if you guys still remember other receivable and other payable this uh result from the overpayment sorry uh, the accruals and prepayment this has to do with our accruals and prepayment okay and when it comes to other payable is it we owe people or people owe us so payable right so it's always we owe people lah. so we owe people so that means you have to go through one, two, three, four, and see which one is it that we owe people. All right. So amount received by Destin for a service which he has not yet provided. Okay. So we receive by Destin. Okay. So we are Destin. Sorry. So we receive money, but we have not provided the service yet. So yeah, we do owe people this one. We owe people service, right? We amount received. So we got money, but we haven't provided service yet. So one is other payable. Two. An amount paid by Destin, we paid first, but then service haven't received, so people owe service, ma. so two is out. Eh? All right, number three, the value of a service received by Destin for which payment has not yet been made. Uh -huh. This is also other payable, we owe people, right? Uh, the value of service, yeah, you see, we receive service ready, but we haven't paid people, uh, so we owe them, so one and three. Is that answer one and three? Yep, answer is C. So four, no need to say, lah. four confirmed wrong already. Lah okay then after that kyra kyra wishes to increase her pfdd how does she record this increase so increase in pfdd good thing or bad thing 
it's a bad thing, right? If it's a bad thing, that means it's like expenses, right? So therefore, the double entry is always DR income statement. When you DR income statement, it's an expenses, and we're going to see our provision for a doubtful debt. So this is very similar to depreciation, right? Depre is always expenses. So we DR income statement, credit PFD, provision for depre. All right, but this is doubtful debt. So same thing, lah, right? If it's a double entry uh, to record the increase, increase is DR income statement, credit PFDD. If it's reduced, uh, if it's reduced, then it's the other way around. Okay, but usually uh, we are going to see a debit income statement. So usually it's going to be expenses more than its income. Lah. So it really depends on question. Okay, so you guys do more, you see more questions like this, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, Sydney. We have Sydney bought goods costing 30 for each. At the end of the year, Sydney value inventory of unsold goods at a selling price of uh, 50 each, right? So the selling price is 50, whereas the good the goods costing is 30. So what is the effect of this valuation? So what happened here is when we we're going to calculate the value of inventory, we have to use this basis, and the basis is uh, we always choose the lower value, right? So basis is choose the uh, lower one, right? So is lower of either cost price or your selling price, also known as sometimes NRV, right? NRV or selling price. Lah. So which one is lower, right? So what happened here is they go and choose the higher value, which is a selling price, $50 GG, right? So which means they actually uh, over, yeah, they overstate, okay? They overstate their closing inventory, okay? Closing inventory overstated. So when closing inventory overstated, so what will happen to... Uh, all right, so let's look at the answer A, B, C, D here. So, closing inventory understated, no, definitely going to be uh, over. So, D is out. Uh, purchase overstated, profit understated, profit overstated. So, you should look at the profit part, lah, right? So, when we overstate our closing, our profit is also going to be overstated. If you're not sure about this part, then you guys have to come back to the notes and look at the uh, how the uh valuation right so this is a year 10 notes in the previous videos i did show this before so now let's look at one more run one more time okay so yep this one okay we have to look at this particular right? effects when wrongly valuing right so if closing inventory is overstated you notice okay compare the left hand side the correct one and then the wrong one and then you notice that oh uh, yeah the profit will also be overstated Okay, so anything not too sure, you can always come back and to try to understand this part here. All right, so the answer is A, profit is overstated. Okay, seven, cannot, cannot prepare bank reconciliation statement and it included an unpresented check. Now, which is unpresented? So technically, they're asking you what is unpresented check. So unpresented check is the check that we give. Okay, we give. But uh, that idiot, yes, that idiot took our check but haven't go to the bank yet. Yeah, that's why it didn't appear in the bank statement, right? That's what unpresented check is. So let's see. A, a check cannot receive, no, no, right? It must be the one that we give. Yeah, I'm back. You my line. Okay. Sorry, suddenly disconnected. Uh, what happened? I don't know what's wrong with my uh land cable. I hope my Wi-Fi is stable. Should be okay. So let's continue with Wi-Fi. Uh, back to this. All right. So once again, uh, on these few things here, only insurance is uh, an expenses because you have to keep paying for it. 
whereas others is buy one time money. Okay, now number nine. So a disposal. Disposal show the following uh things, right? So which books of prime entry was used to transfer? The question asks us books of prime entry used to transfer 300 income statement and how was it treated there? Uh -huh. So they're asking us, okay, income statement part. So this one, uh, what do we use? So people transfer to income statement. Eh? This time we use general journal. So then you know, both of prime entry, there's only one answer here, and that is donkey, right? Transfer to income statement, it falls under this thing called a non-regular transaction. So let's look at the notes again, if you guys uh, cannot remember, just to show you a quick one. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go back to our first year 11 notes here. All right, so under journal, okay, and we have a few things. We have general journal record, all right, opening journal entry, buy and sell and sell on credit, non-regular transaction, then after that, and also our errors, right, the famous errors. So non-regular transaction, as you can see, there's a year-end transfer. So this year-end transfer means it transfers to income statement. Yeah, it falls under this thing called non-regular. Right, so you can check from here. So answer is going to be donkey. We have no such thing as disposal journal. Huh? Okay, no such thing. Okay, others is all wrong. Now, uh, how is it treated? Yep, this is a profit. As you can see, income statement is on the left-hand side. If you're not too sure, you can also uh, try to recall that I did show you guys income statement. The old format is used to be a P account, right? So income statement, left-hand side, we have expenses. Expenses always left. Income always on the right hand side so income statement only got these two elements all right so as you can see the 300 is on the left hand side therefore the 300 has to be on the right hand side in the income uh, statement so here i put disposal so one left one right that's how double entry works one left one right okay so uh, as you can see this is an income right so as a profit all right next one number 10 oscar buys pillows at 18 dollar each okay the pillow is 18 dollar each yeah? that's the cost price at the end, he has 20 pillows in his inventory. This 20 cannot, cannot sell, right? Three pillows are dirty and will cost $8 each to clean. And then all the pillows are expected to be sold at $25. So selling price is $25, okay? But there are three pillows that are dirty. And then if you want to, uh, I mean, if you want to sell it at $25, you have to clean it, right? I mean, it doesn't make sense that if you don't clean it, then who want to buy, <laughs> okay? So there's a repair cost, uh, there's a cleaning cost here of uh, $8. So they're asking us, what's the value of inventory in the statement of financial position? So ask yourself how many units we had left here again. So we left with 20 units. Okay. Now there are three units. There are three units which have problem. And the remaining 17 unit is totally fine, right? No problem. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write down like, okay, the, the cost price. Okay, the, the cost price. Cost price is uh, in this case for both for all the pillows, the cost price is actually 18, right? 18. And then for the uh, selling price, selling price for all the pillows are same thing, it's also 25. Okay, 25. And we do have one more pricing, one more value, which is NRV, net realizable value. And this net realizable value applies to the, the one that is dirty. Right, uh, so the, the value of this thing. So obviously you won't want to clean it first until someone wants to actually buy the pillow. All right. So that's why and are we how to calculate? We have to take uh the selling price. Okay, take the selling price, which is 25. Okay, and that's the formula, right? Take the estimated selling price minus with the repair cost, the, the extra cost in order to sell this product. So our extra cost is eight dollar. Okay, eight dollar. So the NRV uh is actually 17. Okay, uh, so now you have all the pricing, then only you ask yourself, okay, which number do we follow, right? We always choose the lower value. Always remember when we value inventory, we choose the, the lower one, all right? So in this case, the three dirty below, we have 18, 25, and 17. So 17 is the lowest, right? So we're going to choose 17. And then for the 17 below that is totally fine, we're going to choose 18 because 18 is lower than 25, all right? So with that, our calculation for final below calculation will be take 3 times 17, you get the amount, and then after that, take 17 times with uh, 18. Then you get the amount, then we total up together. That is our answer, all right? So 3 times 17. 
equals to 51. And then after that, 17 times 18 is 306. 306. And all plus together, you should get 357. So answer is A. Okay. All right, next one. So 11. Uh, which business are trading businesses and which one is service businesses? So trading and service. Trading is the one that got buy and sell. Service is only services. There's no no stock. There's no buying goods. They don't they don't keep any products and all. All right. So service one, which one is service business? I like to check service. So bookstore, no. Bookstore is not service. Audit is uh, service, yes. Car workshop service, retailer. Retailer means uh, there's a shop there. So there's this selling selling cars, so they are not. So answer is either B or C. Trading, accounting firm is not, right? Accounting firm is uh, also service. So therefore, answer is B. Food retailer, okay? That means they sell food. So that's why they keep stock. And car workshop provide services. So answer is B. In which ledger does the trade payable account appear? So we have four ledger, SL, PL, NL, also known as general ledger, GL, and CB. SL is sales ledger. Sales ledger, we have we don't have sales account inside, so always remember that we have our trip receivable. Ledger is a book, it's a book that contains a lot of T accounts in it. All right, so sales ledger is all our TR, purchases ledger is all our TPs, all, right? all our suppliers in there. Then cash book, we have cash and also uh, bank. Okay, there's no discount, receive discount allowed in there. Everything else is all in the nasi lemak. Uh, remember nasi lemak uh, everything samba everything all there right except for except for trtp cash and bank all right so trade payable is going to be in our purchases ledger all right 13 both sales and wages account were overstated which entry are needed to correct this all right so as you can see they are overstated this is the keyword so they just want our final answer for the correction so how to do this all right this is adjustment method you see keyword overstated so fix the problem straight away. So let's fix one by one. We have two errors here. Sales. So sales is usually on the CR side, right? CR side because it's income. Now you're over, right? Too much, then you go opposite. So we have to DR sales, right? We have to DR sales uh, 100, okay? Then wages, uh, wages is expenses, right? Sales is income, wages is expenses. Now expenses on the left-hand side. So I have to go opposite. So we CR wages also. 100. Do you need suspend for this one? No, you don't need because DR and CR are fully occupied. All right, so answer is DR sales and CR wages. That will be answer C. Okay. 14. Which account or statement provides a summary of transaction involving trade receivable? So everything, right? Summary. Everything you see, uh, there's, there's all the TR related. All right, so it's going to be in the sales ledger control account. All right, this is the same as our TR, right? Everything that you see in SLCA, this what happened to our TR, all right? Fabian, Fabian bought a motor vehicle ten thousand. He depreciated at the ten percent uh, per annum on cost calculated monthly. On cost means again, on cost means straight line method. Okay, that's the keyword for straight line method on cost. But they're gonna calculate by month, all right? After eighteen months, he sold the motor vehicle for nine thousand two hundred. So what was the profit? On disposal. So to do disposal, first thing first, we need to know the cost price. I should put here. So number one, we need to know the cost price, and cost price is actually uh, ten thousand. It's all up there. So ten thousand, and then step number two, we need to do. We need to know the total depreciation, right? The accumulated DP of this motor. So which one we need to calculate, right? Then after that, selling price, which is our third step. Selling price is given as nine thousand. And 200 and lastly whether gain or loss income statement so we need to know what's the pfd amount so how to calculate the pfd amount all right so technically uh they calculated 10 percent per annum on cost all right so on cost straight line method easy just take the cost price ten thousand, and you times it a uh, 10 percent right then you get this is one year right this is one year one year equals to a uh, one thousand all right so now, how how long have uh, have we used this thing, right? So they have eighteen months, right? Eighteen months. So one year is twelve months. If it's eighteen months, so there's another. So one year, twelve months is one thousand. This is twelve months. Okay. So eighteen months means there's another additional uh, six more months. So how to do the six months? Uh, six months will be 
uh, take 10,000 times uh, 1,000, sorry, times 10%, and 10 percent and then you times six six over 12 right the other six more months right? by month so then half of this which is 500 so together right together this is for six months yeah this is for six months okay so together our total debris will be uh, 1000 plus 500 so in the end total debris is 1500 okay so now we calculate whether is it gain or loss right so our Cost price is 10,000. You use for 18 months, it depreciated 1,500. So we minus and we get 8,500 for our net book value. All right. So you compare your net book value with the selling price. So our selling price is higher, higher than the actual value. So therefore, it's a gain, right? This is a gain. Gain of how much? So 9,200 and minus 8,500, we get 700 profit easy okay so it's really stated here is profit so it's a gain of 700 so i hope no problem all right i mean i know it's a bit like uh, messy here and there but as long as you understand you can just do your own maths here right 16 nicole sublet what a sublet actually means sublet means uh we owe a place i mean when we we rent a place and it's an extra place then we let we let we let, uh, let it to other people that means we rent it out to other people so that we will be earning some uh, rental income all right so nicole sublet part of our premises at the rate of two thousand per month okay two per month okay at the end of the financial year her tenant owed nicole a total of four thousand the question asks how much did nicole earn from renting her premises during the financial year so financial year is always how many months it's always 12 months all right so it doesn't matter whether people pay or don't pay or even they pay in advance we don't care we just look at 12 months right that's what they mean by earning right our income and expenses follow this matching rule right matching just say yeah follow back the period the period is 12 months long right and then only 12 months long. so if your one month is 2000 then 12 months just times 12 long, you should get 24,000. answer is donkey simple as that all right 17 no entry have been made for goods taken for personal use which entry are needed so no entry this is error of omission error of omission is the easiest one as long as you know the double entry then that is the final answer right for omission no entry at all okay so goods taken for personal use all right owner take goods drawing drawing always dr so debit drawings and we have to credit purchases account so please remember there are no inventory account for now okay just remember this in a double entry there's no inventory account lah. all right so answer is debit drawing cr purchases donkey okay uh so 18 and 19 haven't learned yet so we're gonna skip this one all right 20 which statement is true bad debts are deducted from trade receiver before the pfdd is calculated so okay something to do with pfdd and also tr here bad debt deducted from tr before the pfdd is calculated yep this is the true statement right our formula for calculation pfdd is tr times percentage equals to the pfdd value all right and another or or another formula will be uh, tr so you minus first right you minus the bad debt first okay minus the bad debt then only you times with the percentage again you get the pfdd also okay so that's the idea lah. all right so A is the answer. Bad debt deducted from TR after the PFDD. No, bad debt are only written off if there is no provision for that full debt. No, I don't know what we're talking about here. Yeah, bad debt are only written off if there is no provision. No, bad debt means when people confirm cannot pay us, it become a bad debt. Okay. PFDD is we're not sure. We're not sure whether people are able to pay us or not. So no matter what, we are going to do PFDD because of the prudence rules. Provision is only made for doubtful debt if no bad debt have been written off. No, okay? Also no, All right? All right, 21. A shoe retailer, okay? A shoe retailer means he buy and resell shoe, purchase a computer, okay? They buy a computer and debited the cost to the purchases account. People, you see, purchases is supposed to for the shoes, for the goods, the product that we buy and resell. But right now, this is a NCA, right? This is an NCA, our asset. Okay, you buy computer is an asset supposed to go to uh, SOFP, right? asset account. 
but you accidentally put it into a purchases, which is our expenses account. So the question asks us, what was the effect on the profit and the non-current asset? Okay, what is the effect of this, okay, of this error? Okay, not correcting the error, but the effect of this error. So let's do the easy one first, which is NCA. Right? Imagine it's supposed to be in the NCA, but it's not there now, right? Because they went and debit. That means they're going to record it into purchases account. So there's no computer account being open. So what do you think will happen to the NCA? It will be understated, right? So overstated is out. So you know answer A and C is definitely out, all right? So we only have B and donkey. So now it's going to be the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the profit part. Lah. It's either overstated or understated. So just ask yourself this one, right? To calculate profit is I, uh, I income minus expenses equals to profit so you guys know this right so you have to ask yourself now what happened to expenses account right so the our expenses went up overstated or understated since we went and debited to expenses that means you have your expenses is too much now right it includes the computer in there so your expenses went up when the expenses went up what happened to your profit it will go opposite that means it will go down so understated and then understated, uh, understated answer is donkey. All right, all good. Next one, 22. The total of the trial balance did not agree. Okay, if it did not agree, is it sado or poor CC? Did not agree means sado. Okay, because poor CC, you will still see uh, everything still okay, still balanced, right? So which one is sado error here, right? A, a receipt of 50 for subscription. You haven't learned this word yet. It's going to be in topic 17. But doesn't matter, it had been posted to the debit of subscription account and credit to a, a bank. So when you see keyword like got debit and then got credit, this is error of complete uh, reversal. Usually you see a, an account debited, uh, credited, uh, that is complete reversal. Uh, the ballet AD. Okay, B. Then receive have been omitted from the trial balance. Uh -huh, this is the keyword from the trial balance. So our answer is B, right? The SADO, the O is the one that is uh, omitted from trial balance. C, machinery repair uh, costing 300 have been debited to machinery. So you see this a lot. So repair is expenses, machine is asset. So wrong class, this is error of principle. And the last one, fixtures account overstated by 80, wages account understated by 80. So when you see got overstated, like two over, overstated or one overstated, one understated, right? This is compensating. Okay, compensating. So this is how they normally sound like. Lah, okay, so got an over and uh, under, got two accounts, two errors there, and then it's compensating. All right, next one, number 23. The following are items to be updated in the cash book, except. All right, except so there will be three things that you know is belong to the same gang and then the other one not the same so things to be updated in cash book so we have to take things from where to update in cash book of course we take things from the bank statement now right if you want to update okay cash book have to take from okay take from bank statement okay and when we update bank statement then we take from cash book mark all right so what is it that you're not supposed to be there? The answer is amount not yet credited. As you can see, bank charger, dishonored check, standing order, all this belongs to the bank statement part, right? Whereas amount not credited, NYC is in the cash book. All right, so 23 and 24 uh, skip because uh, haven't learned yet, okay? So I'm going to straight go into uh, section B now. Okay, give me a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, so complete the following table so that the name of each accounting principle is paired with the explanation. All right, so just remember keywords can ready lah. So duality, duality must be give and receive. Of course, you are going to read your own definition and then give the whole, uh, the long explanation, right? According to my notes and all, it's all there. Okay, accounting rules, it's all here, the definition and stuff, all right? But as usual, I will I want to remember the keywords and then you just put your own words. Lah, right? It's all here. Okay, so for duality, it's a give and receive. So it's a two expect thingy. And then after that, profit is only regarded as being earned when the legal title. So profit earned, okay, legal title, which is the ownership exchange hand. So the answer here will be realization. Okay, realization. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Okay, then we have prudence. Prudence is, yep, do not, uh, do not overstate 
these two things, which is asset and profit. Okay, do not overstate uh, asset and profit. Okay, next one, we have financial information. It's only material if it will affect the decision. When you see the word material here, it gives you the keywords already, materiality. Okay, that's our accounting uh, principles. Okay, materiality. So whether the, the information, whether this thing is significant enough or not, right? And how are we going to like uh, decide whether this thing is expenses or asset, right? Things like that. Matching and accruals, right? Matching and accruals, the keyword is going to be uh, cost and revenue. So we can also say profit and cost. Uh, I forgot what did I write for my definition. Uh, matching of revenue, okay? It's matched against the cost. Okay, I use the word revenue, fine. So revenue. Okay, match cost from same period. Okay, so this is important words. Ah. Must be there, there must be a period and there must be income and cost. So revenue and cost also can. And the last one, asset should be valued at the purchase price at which they were acquired. So this is historic. Okay, this is historic cost. Always NCA, right? NCA always at the cost price. So that's there we have it. All right. Next one, we have uh, Tony Iggy is a trader. Da, 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 if you guys know, right? So, yep, it's in a Wakanda here. He buy goods on credit from White Stone. Okay. So, Tony Iggy and White Stone is actually the uh, yeah, the creator, the DJ of these songs, right? The Coffin songs, if you guys still remember. All right. So, what the heck is this thing? Okay. So there's a document here. State the name of the document. So people, if there's only one document we see got debit, la, got credit, la, got balance, la, got a lot of things inside one, la, right? a lot of things inside here. So therefore, that is a statement of account. Okay, The name of this document is statement of account. Okay, And name the person who issued a statement of account. So when it comes to document, so who issued what again, right? So remember this, seller issue everything yes customer only issue one thing customer only issue a debit note the debit note is to complain is to inform right so this term of account is issued by the supplier which is also the seller lah, right and then tony will be the customer okay and always remember the name on top is the sender okay always remember name on top is the one who send the one who received name will be a uh, below okay so in this case i have to put name the person who issue so name is y stone okay v i c e t o n e y stone right okay big v okay then state one reason for the issue of this document so why do we issue a statement of account is to remind right? is to remind the customer Oops of amount outstanding you can put la amount o amount amount due amount outstanding no problem everything also can name the person who owe the opening balance of 300 so let's go back here so balance due right 300 so who owe who of course customer or seller right? so tony iggy here right name the person who owes so tony tony iggy Right, calculate the percentage of the discount on 27 May. 27 May, what happened here? 27 May. All right, so people, there's a six dollar of discount here. So the question asks you to calculate the percentage, right? So we have to find the percentage of this six dollar. So, how do you do this? Please remember, this is what discount this is a cash discount. Cash discount are only given when pay early, so you must put together with the payment, right? So that you put together means you total them up so that you know this is before discount which is a hundred percent right hundred percent is before discount so the 294 is after discount and the six is the discount itself so then you have to use your maths here right okay so let me just draw this technically the whole thing the whole box here is 294 plus six okay 294 plus six dollar which is 300 and 300 is our 100 percent agree right so then we have six dollar and then we have 294 right so what is the percentage 
what's a percentage for six and then what's a percentage for the 294 right so calculate this one easy just take six dollar over three hundred and then you times it 100 no? okay so let's take calculator six divided by 300 and times with 100 technically two percent ah. right so the answer is two percent so if this is two percent then 294 will be 98 percent so this is how we calculate you cannot just straight away take six dollar over 294 right then you get a very weird answer already all right so calculate the percentage since it's only one mark so you don't need to show uh working just straight away put the answer we'll do all right so just put two percent two percent Okay, like this only all right name the type of discount given on 27 yep what discount is that that is a cash discount right cash discount trade discount we don't record one right only cash discount is recorded calculate the balance due on 31st may which means they're asking us like uh yeah the final amount right so how much tony still owe uh voice tone at the end of it right so all the, the question mark question mark question mark there so how do we how do we find the question mark question mark so starting is 300 and when you see goods here so there's a debit the debit in statement of account line, technically it actually means a plus la, right debit is plus okay debit is plus let me erase the thing here and then put back the sign debit is plus credit is minus the plus here actually means owe more right it means owe more it means the customer owe the supplier more whereas the minus here means actually owe less Okay, that's what it actually means uh, all right so as you can see starting that time is 300 and then there's a goods the goods here means what the goods here means the seller sell on credit so this is a credit sales okay this is actually a credit sales here that happened right for the goods here that's why you see there's a 470 so 300 plus 470 all right 300 plus 470 then we get 770 okay for this one then you see there's a return so what return is this one uh, this is a sales return no? okay this is a sales return okay i mean thinking from the from white stone point of view uh, because this is issued by seller one uh, right so the return is actually sales return so when sales return happen of course uh it will be uh, minus no? right or less so 770 minus 190 then we get um, uh, 770 minus 190 okay 580 so this number is 580 here all right then after that we have uh minus total is 300 minus 300 here will be 280 300 is 280 and then the six dollar plus back six dollar here will be 286 all right so technically this is the payment right they pay us that's why they owe us less so how to get the 286 is technically just take 580 right just take 580 minus uh, no space i can just put here 580 minus 294 and the last one is uh, 280 minus uh, six, uh, sorry, 286 minus six dollar 286 minus six that's how we get 280 all right so the final answer will be 200 and 80 since they also only give us one mark so you don't need to actually show uh workings uh. so final answer is 280 all right so this is how we do statement of account all right next one and the last one as well the divides uh his ledger into three uh which is the sales ledger purchase ledger and nominal uh, ledger why is that as well in this part who is as well oops i get there is a i think there is a slight um, what do you call that there's a error here so it shouldn't be as well i think the name didn't change properly so it shouldn't be as well here it's supposed to be uh what do you call that um should be be wise tone i guess but actually it doesn't matter because this uh, does not affect uh the the question itself right so the question is just trying to uh, ask you guys what is the advantages of a dividing ledger into a three different sections like why do we split them into a project ledger sales ledger and nominal ledger right so the two advantages there are many right but you can give the easy one so that uh, work can be 
divided, right? When you have three of them or four of them, then work can be uh, divided. And also, uh, when we divide all these things, then uh, may reduce fraud. Lah. Okay, this is a too easy answer. So let's also look at the marking scheme so that you can see what other answers can be uh, acceptable. So work can be shared, uh, easier for reference as the same type of account are kept together. Right? Make sure you don't just put that easier for reference. You must also explain why it's easy because same type are kept together. Easier to introduce checking procedure and it reduce the possibility of fraud, help in locating error right? or any other suitable advantage. Okay, so I hope this one okay. Next one we have okay, coaxing. All right, then after that, uh huh. So as usual, when you guys see a question, right? So this is not no no point that you guys actually read the the top part first because what you should know is like uh, maybe you should look at the question required first so that when you come back and see what info they give us, your brain will automatically filter and start thinking what is it that I need, what is it that I don't need. All right. So A, use the necessary information from the above figures to calculate the following items for the year ended 31st March. Show your working in the spaces uh, provided below. So there's a calculation of a credit sales. So they ask us to calculate uh, credit sales. Calculation of credit sales, you can use formula. It's in the formula uh, sheet. Okay, so this is something that I've given to you guys in school, the Bible. Uh, let me just take a quick look. In year 11, hand out, term two. Yep. So there's the accounting formula here. Okay. And go to topic 17. Right. So actually, you can use this formula to calculate uh, credit sales, but I don't like because I don't want to memorize formula. So therefore, I will use a sales ledger control account. If I want to find credit sales, I can use SLCA to do that. Yep. So also to practice my control account skills, all right, for you to practice that. Uh, next one. So coming back to the question, okay. And what else? They also ask us the oh find the for my answer, right? In A one, I need to also find total sales, right? Also find total sales. Uh, and after that, total sales is just cash sales plus credit sales, and also using the necessary information. Now they ask us to prepare a purchases ledger control account. So this one you have no choice. You must prepare as a t account all right early on you can still calculate calculate means uh, you can do any style you want you can just put number calculate you can also do control account so which i'm going to use i'm going to do control account so we we'll draw line first and then after that state two reason why is it possible all right that's all okay so the rest of the question don't need to do so this will be the last questions uh, right for this paper all right so let's look at control account okay so now we have coxing okay who buy and sell on credit uh he sell to cash and then after that, credit customer. Okay, so that's not keep accounting record. Blah blah blah. All right. So we are doing control account first. Uh, which sorry, we are doing sales ledger control account first. Uh, SLCA. So I'm gonna like just take up the one that is a uh, TR related. Okay. So I'm going to use SLCA here, sales ledger control account. Okay. Then after that, uh, this is a T account. So I just put here the R and CR. Right. If you want to put a line here, also can up to you guys, no problem. Okay. And then after that, first information, right? First information is the total trade receiver balances at first April. All right. Balances at first April. Every time you see the word balances, this is definitely the balance BD. And since they didn't say which side, we are going to assume it's a normal one, right? Normal one, which is TR, right? TR is our trade receivable. Trade receivable is our asset. Okay, A. So asset DR is plus and CR is uh, minus. Lah, right? So the normal balance BD, of course, is going to be on the left hand side. So left hand side balance BD. Okay, and then the amount is 5200. Right? Is date important? No, date is not important in control account. So don't waste your time. You need to put. All right, then after that, trade payable. This is for the later questions, so not taking that. So I think I should, what you should do is like, you know, uh, take first the one that you want for your SLCA. So credit sales, we don't know. Yes, we are finding. Cash sales, do you need for SLCA? Cash sales, so you 
don't know whether you need or not, then you do your double entry. So the, what's the double entry for cash sale? Double entry is DR cash and CR sales. So definitely we don't need it for the control account because there's no TR there, right? Then what about sales return? Sales return is DR sales return, CR, TR. Credit purchases, no, that is for uh, PLCA, purchase return, PLCA. Receipt from credit customer, yep, receipt from credit customer. All right, it's DR, uh, cash or bank, okay, because they didn't say. Then CR, trade receivable. Payment by check to credit supplier, no, this is for the PLCA. Discount allowed, yes, discount allowed. Our double entry is DR, discount allowed. Because it's expenses. And CR, trade receivable, that's what it's for. Okay, discount received, no, that one is for uh, purchases ledger control account. So this is for PLCA, uh, credit purchases PLCA, 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 and PLCA. Red color is PLCA. And they also give us the balances at 31st March. So balances, every time we see balances, it's going to be balance BD. You are going to do balance BD regardless of the date. I know it's 31st March, but you always do balance BD. That's what you guys will train. Okay. So total trade receiver, 4756. Uh, so we need this also. All right. So let's do the balances first. All right. I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw the total line, total line. And also total line and i leave one row at the bottom all right so that for me to put in the balance bd all right so since here the 31st march did mention there is a total tr right balances end of the year four seven five six so we are going to put this information first and where to put it so this is the normal balance bd normal balance BD on the left hand side all right so let me use pen so here is going to be our balance bd it's something that we have to work backwards is given to us so balance bd right balance bd four seven five six four seven five six then you work backwards right you work backwards for your balance cd four seven five six so this is how you put in this information right so regardless the date because yeah 31st something the next thing is going to be first of something, which is the bottom balance BD. That's why the same number. So you always do balance BD first. All right. Then uh, we are going to do SLCA. So we focus on the account, that which is TR account. TR account. So this is right-hand side, right-hand side, and also uh, right-hand side. And in the end, credit sales. Credit sales, we don't know what's the, what is the amount, okay? But we do know the double entry. The double entry is debit. Uh, TR and sales is always CR, so credit sales, all right? CR sales and debit TR. Okay, later on, that means we're going to know that uh, the missing amount is going to be on the left hand side. Lah. All right, so now we're going to put in all the amount, okay? So CRTR for sales return 1433. 1433, so here 1433. Details we write sales return, okay? And then after that, cash bank, right? So CRTR, right hand side, 36933. 36933. So here you can put cash and bank. Cash also can, bank also can, put both also can, doesn't matter because this is a calculation question. So even you put wrong, you put receipt also, the number is still here, you are fine. Don't worry, you can still get the marks. Most importantly is the, the number, they are at the correct place, right? The number at the correct place. Next one, we have discount a lot, CR, so 484, 484, discount a lot. Okay, anything else? Uh, nope, that's all. All right, only these few things. So now we are going to find our credit sales. So we are finding, let me use another color. So we are trying to find our sales, credit sales as an amount. So definitely, the sales part is going to be DRTR. So on the left hand side here, we write sales and we need to find the amount. So how to do that? Uh, we just need to balance the T account. All right. So balance the T account, obviously right hand side is more. So we have 1433 plus 36933 plus 484 and also plus 4756. Don't forget 4756. So you get 43606 in the total. 
right? Uh, let me change color first. Okay, the number is 43606. 43606. Then the other side also the same thing, 43606. Then you use 43606 and you minus with 5200. Then you get the final answer for the credit sale. So 38406. That color, 4, wait, what? Oh, sorry, 38406. 38406. And that is our credit sales amount. Okay. Of course, if you use formula, that will be much faster. You technically just need to take all the number and then push them plus, push them minus, and then you get the answer. All right, six marks, easy six marks. But I'm just using control account so that I'm practicing SLCA at the same time. All right. Next question asks us using my answer in A1 to calculate total sales. So I calculated my credit sales is 3840, right? So 38406, 38406. And then now I need to plus. All right, how to find total sales? You need to plus cash sales. Cash sales is given as cash sales is given at 8,400. Okay, 8,400. 8,400 is in the question there. All right, then you plus 8,400. And voila, 46806. 46806. That is our total sales. All right, easy. That's all. all right. Then after that, we have our purchases ledger control account. So this is same thing. Our PLCA is actually our TP account. TP. This is our trade payable. Trade payable is a liability. Liability is DR side is minus. CR side is plus. That doesn't concern me because I normally just do double entry and I know my my balance BD where it is. All right. So. Start with first thing first, right? We have our balances. So this 3292 is our balance BD. And TP is liability. So you should know balance BD is on the right side. Liability is on the right hand side. Okay, so 3292. Let's put in this number first. Change the color back. Okay, so 3292 on the right hand side. Okay, 3292. And then the details you write balance uh, BD. Okay, now for this particular account, because they said they want you to do T account and then the details are important. Details wrong, then you don't get marks ready, right? These are still not important here. These are no marks, all right? So if you want to put, can put, don't put, also can, no problem, all right? Next one, then we have our, uh, yep, our purchases and all. So let me use a different color for the double entry. So credit purchases, credit purchases, purchases is uh, DR what, CR what. So purchases is always DR, is expenses. And on credit, so we owe TP, so TP last. Next one, purchase return. So CR, purchases return, and debit TP. That's a double entry. Payment by check. So CR bank, we pay by check. So CR bank, then we debit TP. And the last one, discount receive. So discount receive is income. So always CR, discount receive. And we debit TP. All right. So right now we are doing TP account. So we focus on TP. We just need to highlight, right? Just need to circle all the TP, 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 TP. TP, 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 left side and also left side. So one on the right hand side and the other three on the left hand side. Okay. So purchases 22563. 22563 on the right hand side. 22563. Okay, 22563. And this is purchases. Okay, remember to flip, right? Okay, then after that, uh DR. So please return 979 on the left hand side. 979. This is purchases return. Come on. All right, next one. After that, on the left hand side again, we have our uh, bank, right? Payment by check. So bank 25112. 25112. This is bank. And then we have our last one, discount receive. Also on the left hand side, 364. Okay, 364, discount receive. 364, discount receive. All right, Gautim, done. That's all.
All right. So as usual, need to do balancing. So total, total. Okay. So this question we have to just do the normal balancing, which is balance CDB. Yeah. Right. So is it left side more or right side more? So look at it. Should be uh right side more if I'm not mistaken. So three two. 92 plus 25653 25855 okay 25855 here should be also 25855 and take 25855 minus 979 minus 25112 and minus 364 oh gg all right i'm so sorry all right the calculation is wrong because it's negative so which means left hand side is more i'm so sorry all right so left hand side is more for this question okay so let's restart again let's calculate again so left hand side more 979 plus 25112 plus 364 okay so 26455 right the correct number here is supposed to be uh 26455 26455 okay then this are also same thing, 26455. And then we take 26455 minus with 3292 and minus with 22563. And voila, 600 positive. Okay. So the answer here is supposed to be, let me change the color. Okay, 600. And then after that, this is core balance CD, 600. And then 600 bottom. Change to balance, BD. Yay. All right. So how to get three six marks here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh. Yeah, every single item here except for the balance CD, uh, all got marks. Uh. All right. But this is weird, right? Because normally liability balance BD should be on the right hand side, but then we have a balance BD on the left hand side. So yep, that's why they ask us now. State two reason. Why is it possible to have a debit balance? On a purchase ledger control account, which means how come it's on a negative side, right? The balance BD. If you guys still remember, regardless of what T account they are, hold on. Okay, regardless of what T account they are, uh, balance BD on the left hand side always means people owe us. Okay, which is an asset. And balance BD on the right hand side, that means we owe people. Right? And that is will be a liability. Right. So at this point currently is it's a liability, but they owe us. Right. So yeah, this side is negative balance. So why would it be possible for them to owe us? So the, the two easy answer will be overpayment, right? Overpayment two, because we are paying them, right? Yeah, we pay our supply. So overpayment to our trade payable. Okay, overpayment to TP. Okay, that's one answer. And the other answer is paid in at once, right? Paid in at once to trade payable. Yeah, of course, there are also other answers. Lah. Like, for example, let's look at the marketing scheme. Uh, yep. Okay, overpayment of the amount owing, failure to deduct cash discount due, good return after cash account settle, payment made in that one. Lah. Okay, all this possible, possible. All right, so you see, accept alternative presentation. So it's either you use the number for just now the early on the SLCA part to find the credit sales, you can use a number or else you can just prepare a SLCA control account. All right, then you also get a mark so so. All right, so that's it. That's it for this paper. I hope everyone is okay with everything here. So the rest all this one just skip because you haven't learned uh, some of this yet. All right, so you'll be seeing this kind of question in your final exam. So I'm done with everything. If any more questions, so please text me, ask me, or when you see me in school, ask me again. If you need any more papers, you PM me for more parts of paper for practice and uh, whatnot. All right, so I hope this one will help you guys. All right, and once again, I'm sorry that I didn't manage to cover all these things in school because I want to do topical revision with you guys. Because as you can see, parcel paper is everything, right? All the topics all mixed up together. So I'd rather to go through uh, topic by topic with you. All right, so I wish you all luck for your exam, and I'll see you guys in school. Bye bye.